Hello, MJ Traders. Something I want to point out for today, and this is something that we have been waiting on, and this concerns TLRY, the recent IPO. We found a higher low recently. We were looking for a break of the lower highs, but we were inter interested in when the ETFs are going to start buying. Now, why are we interested? Because when the ETFs start buying, because there is a limited amount of shares, supply and demand, both thin on each side because it's a recent IPO, that buying pressure has a very significant impact. We saw this on TGOD. Look at TGOD that had the IPO. It began trading 18 days later, absolute explosion to all-time highs. We're not expecting the same kind of gains and the same kind of explosion because the share price is a bit different. Things are a little different, but we are looking for a significant bullish reaction and our chat room is buying today because we got our first signs. And shout out to our member, Big Deuce. This is the MJ Holdings. They were updated 900,000 share reduction in ACB. Not surprising as their holdings were too high there because the two companies merged. But here it is right here. First sign of TLRY and they've got a 0.26% position. So at this point, the lowest holdings that they have is 1%, let's call it, aside from this now. Let's say that we are only going to get to 1%, which I do not anticipate. I expect it to be more than that. But if that were the case, 33,000 shares is 25%. Just doing rough math, that would be adding another 100,000 shares to get to roughly a 1% position. And what would 100,000 shares of buying pressure do on TLRY? Well, the average volume on these candlesticks the last few days, we have a day with 600,000, uh, 1 million, 1.3 million, only 330,000, 300, let's see, 900,000. 473,000. The bottom line is that's not a lot of volume. And if we're looking at 100,000 shares to get to just the minimum point, if we're going to get a little bit of an increase in that holdings, we're looking at TLRY to buy anywhere from 100 to let's say 300,000 shares, that would have a significant impact on the price short term. This also does not account for HMMJ, which has zero position on TLRY still. And all of the traders like our group that were waiting for this signal and are going to be buying in anticipation of further buying from these ETFs. So a break of $26 is the go signal today. We're looking at $27.74 as the next resistance level, and then right up to the all-time high of $34.10. If this buying pressure keeps up and if both ETFs start buying, we are going to be looking up towards that all-time high. So again, just checking in on TGOD, that huge follow-through move. Let's now see what are the holdings of TGOD that we have here on MJ. And it went all the way up to 6%. So again, if we're only going to see this ETF by 1% of TLRY, we're not going to anticipate anywhere near as much of a bullish reaction like we saw on TGOD. But if we see them get their position of TLRY up to that 2, 3, 4% mark, let's just call it right in the middle. Let's see, we get up to 2.5. Again, just very roughly, we're looking at uh, multiple hundred thousand dollars, or I should say multiple hundred thousands of shares being bought. So if we were to get that, and then we get TLRY to buy 100,000 shares plus, again, going to have a significant impact on the price. All dep depends on how fast they do their buying and things like that. But we are entering positions today in anticipation for some follow through. Just wanted to give the heads up on what's going on with these ETFs. Good luck out there. Have a good trading day. One last point that I wanted to make that I did not make is TGOD. There's a, a holding period where the ETFs have to wait to buy after an IPO. So we had 18 trading days and then an explosion. TLRY right now is on its 17th trading day. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17. Today's the 18th day. So watch for that pattern.